Welcome to Insurrection Field in Brain Washington BS, home of the cadavers. Wait a second, Brain Washington changed the name again? First it was the Deadskins, then the football team. And now they're called what again? You dope, now they're called the cadavers. Well, what's the name gonna be next season? Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Carolina Panthers battle the Brain Washington Cadavers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. And MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pig flu. How you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projectile vomiting finally let up, but the, the monsoon mudslides have begun. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've been, oh. I've been literally cramping his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hey. but everyone's walking away from it. Them cool guys always walk away from explosions. Hey, that might be good for the movies, but it's awful for the MFL. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. It was a risky throw, and the defense made him pay. He'll have to hope for amnesia or brain damage and move on. Oh, what the brutal. And it's first and ten. Oh my gosh! The defensive player looks like he's. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 40. The 30. He's at the 20. Here comes the defense. The 10. And he scores! And look how happy that little demon is after that score. That means he won't drag any souls into the pit to hell for at least another three hours. Demons are so booty. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talk to the hip. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. 
He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get nice catch. And he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. Three-yard catch on the play. Every little bit counts. Those three yarders might grow up to be somebody one day. Second down and seven. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. A well placed cleat. First and ten. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. Hot, hot one. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. has to do a better job. The ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. Yeah, that sounds like a good job. He's right at home here taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swipe the money from the bathroom attendant. Yeah, who don't do that?
Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Now this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type, though. And it's a miss. Looks like the QB had some issues with the ball placement. Spikes out. Spikes out. How many times do you have to tell that idiot QB to hold the ball with the spikes out? Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Third down and, well, good luck. Hot one. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is in palm grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, he just got crushed. <laughs> and it's first and ten. See this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. hot. You know, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the grounds crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hey. Man, what a hit that was. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one, hot two, hot. One speed, and he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. They're looking for.
for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps on sides trying to... It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is, ah, I forgot my point. First down and five. And he runs it for four yards. And that'll bring up second and one. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races! And here comes the extra point attempt. right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Hot one. What a throw! That sonic blast just cleared the field for the receiver. He could go all the way! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're at. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Second down and six. Hot, hot one. QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Hot one, hot two, eight. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple timeouts aren't just for offense, Grim? Well, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. Hey. 
The kick is good. Uh, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmicks. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. What is this, 80s wrestling? And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line. Of oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Nine, nine, one, nine. That would have been a disappointing run. It's even a worse throw. The quarterback burns his last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Second down and nine. Nine, nine, one, nine, two, nine, nine. And he'll pick up six yards on that play. The second quarter comes as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Guys are now to begin the third quarter. You're talking about that two Sunnies twins playing opposing tackles? Yeah, they're putting on a hell of a show. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, it's a good thing. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. The brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. He's working. That guy's so fast he can strike lightning twice. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. 
And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. Hunt. Hunt. Hunt two. Was right there and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in fantasy league. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. First down! This guy just loves to hit people as hard as he can, Brim. I don't even think he knows what a down is. And it's first and ten. First down. And it's first and ten. And that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? First and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And four. Oh man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Third down and five. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot If he does that again, they'll drop him. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's got a... Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. <laughs> And it's 
First and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you, and the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Hot. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut, and you'll tire these guys out. First down. First and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Drills one in for the first down. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. First down and five. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! I like this, they're going for two. No one was gonna stop him, that's two points. If you think his dad's in his bed, you should have been here in the old days. He used to mark their territory the old fashioned way. But they agreed to dial it down to uh, interpret a dance. Before the class even started. He'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. And it's first and ten. Serve those runners now and consider passing more. Second and three. Third and 
four. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> that's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. Yeah, something went very wrong with that box away. What was your first hit? The lack of blood, everyone having all their limbs? He's your idiot. Third down and three. Food, idiot. Third down and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, killer hit! Literally! I love how they explode into a shower of blood and guts. Yeah, the pieces of him are flying into the cheap seat. And it's first and ten. Holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. And he held on to that one for a first down. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Caught for the first down. First down and one. Hot. Two, hot, hot, All week, the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Kapow! And that'll bring up second and one. Hot, hot one, hot two. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. 
shoot in that bullet, I'm ready for war. I'll put the back. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the heads off of enemies. Oh man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. Only two minutes left in the game. First down and one. If you don't hear it come, and that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be caught. The kick is good! Uh, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. Second down and ten. to keep the chains moving that was beautiful under two minutes a timeout means the qb is playing beat the clock and he better win and it's first and ten a timeout is called by the quarterback they have one left Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that's constant, relentless advance. If only it was as easy as telling them, time out. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. First down and one. And the score! Yeah, this reminds me of that movie Magic Mike, except there's no magic, and the chicks in the stands are all barfing. Ugh.
No, why go for one when you can go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Brits can't even get one. Oh, he's done. And he plows forward for the two-point conversion. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and seven. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. And it looks like the coach is ripping that play from the playbook. What a dud. No failed insurrection today. The cadavers are overthrown on their home turf and go out defeated. Hey, look, there's that QAnon Shannon guy taking a crap on the field. <laughs> they battled hard but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. I will ask you. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.